Hello lightworkers, uh, soothsayers and magicians and wizards and good witches, all good, all good of course. Welcome to Heal Yourself Therapies. This week, today in fact, never mind this week, today, I'm talking about guilt. Are you guilty? And other bits and pieces, but primarily guilt. So I'll see you in the next part. So, just like local news before we start, we've been locked in for three days with the snow. It's been incredible. But now, today, I've managed to get to the supermarket, so that's good. In the supermarket today, I saw two things that made my heart sing. And what were the two things? The two weren't things, they were people. And this is the first time that I've seen it. When I get out of my car in Aldi, I don't put my mask on. And remember, it's, it's supposed law, it's not a law, but here in Spain, you've got to wear a mask all the time. So I don't put it on. I just walk to the thing, get my trolley, and then when I'm just about to go in, I reluctantly, and, and I do put on the face of reluctance, okay? Everybody that looks at me knows that I do not want to put my mask on, and I put on the, my holy mask, holy, blessed by God and full of holes and I put it on under my nose yeah today when I was in the supermarket I met another Gordon somebody who had the mask on and it was like just hovering over the top lip he looked he, you could see that he did not want to put the mask on he was putting it on just because he wouldn't be able to get his groceries if not and I saluted him I smiled at him and and uh, because I just, you just know when you meet your own kind. And then on the way out, another man was walking across the car park, no mask on, couldn't give a shit. And you know, this is the power, I think the powerful thing is when you do it with the face of, I couldn't give a shit. And it's when you go across going, oh my God, I hope nobody's noticing I haven't got a mask on. When you walk proud, mask, you peaceful rebellion peaceful rebellion and that's what I saw and I, and I smiled at him as well and I give him a nod and as soon as I got out I took my mask off as well so you know understand that Spain Spain is highly 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 indoctrinated it is cult city all right they're, they're, they're all cult members everywhere Okay, but it's interesting when we've been having to dig ourselves out of, out of, out of the road that nobody's got a mask on. Um, they only put masks on when they went sledging. But helping me to dig the car out, no masks. Obviously, you know, there are only times the, the virus comes if you're having fun. But not if you're eating and having fun. But if you eat and have fun, it could be very dangerous. So always be miserable because that's what I notice when I go into restaurants, that most people are very miserable. Everyone goes, keep the mask on until the very last moment they bring the head they bring the head toward the plate they bring the head toward the plate and they whip the mask off and eat it and then they put the mask back on again very miserable okay so if you don't want to be hit by the v-i-r-u-s keep your mask on okay and when you're eating just split the mask and eat or, or put a straw through so that'd be that probably be better like the in the bands in the music bands here for the people who play the trumpet the people who play the trumpet, putting a split in the mask and putting the trumpet through the mask. Okay. You couldn't make it up, could you? You couldn't make it up. Anyway, also, other thing, the three wise men, which we have in Spain, not we don't have um, Santa Claus, we have the three wise men, they come on the night of the fifth and on the sixth we have our presents. Look what the three wise men brought me. Can you see it? This is the C-I-V-O, no, C-O-V-I-D, uh, V-A-C-C, oh, Maxine, Maxine, that's right, yeah, that, this was given to me as a present by the lady who did the trick, played the trick on me and said that I was in the um, the group of uh, highly um, uh, people who, who what's, what's, I can't remember the, the word she used, but the people who really need the vaccine and she gave me that 
it's actually honey in there. And I looked at this, I thought, what is that for? Is that for a horse or something? Is it for an animal? It's for basting cakes. It's for putting the cream filling inside of cakes. There we are. So that was very funny that you give me that. And, and I tried to stick it up the bottom. Okay. So there we are. People still have a sense of humor despite everything. Okay. Now, let's talk about despite everything. I want to talk about guilt because what I'm very aware of is that given everything that's been happening over the last year, there's this big agenda which has been running for a long time. And the agenda is this. All of this is happening to us because it's our fault. Because we're too many. Because we travel too much. Because we just don't control ourselves. Because we need to be controlled. Okay? This agenda has been around for a long time. And it started... Uh, it, it, it's been it's been oh just ongoing and ongoing and ongoing. The biggest one that they've been using before this one, before the 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 um, the whole V I R U S came out, is the um, the increasing temperature of our planet. Okay, and why? did they say this and remember i remember al gore did a film called an inconvenient Tr truth and i saw it and i was so impressed with it because at the time i was asleep and sleep people are incredibly impressed by that film it's awesome and they think my god something should be done about that yeah which is the um hegelian dialect which is the problem reaction solution okay so what Al Gore said was that if we didn't do something about it, okay, which we haven't done anything about it, by the way, according to them, we've done fuck all. All right. Um, you see, I've had to get that in. We've done naff all. And he said in 10 years time, the earth is going to be like this, you know, extinct. We're going to be extinct. All right. But he did that in something like uh, 1990 or, or I don't know, maybe no, a bit, bit later than that. No, 2000, maybe. And of course, we continue to be here. The more embarrassing thing was that uh, the temperature of the planet was going down and they had chosen global warming. And it was a lovely name, a lovely name, you know, and hats off to them for choosing that. But it backfired on them because all of the scientists were saying <coughs> um, problem is that the temperature has been dropping for the last five years. Okay, so they, they, they did all kinds of things to try and deny that. They said it was a, that it had gone on pause for five years, but then it was going to continue again. But it was just a pause. And then, of course, during that time, they had a big meeting and they said, we can't keep calling it global warming. We're going to have to change it. Now, obviously, the person who said that, we're going to have to change it. Hey, why don't we say climate change? And so what they did was they said, from global warming, out in the bucket, global warming, load of rubbish. No, no, climate change. Because climate change is the easiest thing to fiddle in the world, isn't it? Because all you need is to have the climate to change. And then you can say climate change. All right. So all you need is a heavy winter. And people go... It's what we're doing. It's what we're doing to the planet. Okay? Then we have some heat in the go. You see, it's what we're doing to the planet. Any extreme of weather, which of course we've had extremes of weather ever since man began and before men even began. All right? Um, we had ex extreme changes of weather. Hence the fact that supposedly the dinosaurs all died out and no, but and unless they were farting so much that the carbon was increasingly getting bigger and that's what caused the ice age but if if not what brought about that all right we weren't there then apparently all right i don't believe any of i don't believe anything about history by the way i don't believe anything that anybody has ever said now i want proof i don't want to hear ideas anyway we'll not get into that but believe nothing and it puts you in a really safe place then because then you have to question everything and that is excellent so 
So what have they done? What they've done is they have made us feel guilty. And when I say us, they're trying to make mankind. I don't feel guilty. I feel very, very blessed to be alive. But they're trying to make mankind feel guilty about existing. And this is ever so important. When did they start? They started it by getting rid of God and by bringing science in. And what did they say? We weren't created. We are an accident. And we are an accident that just happened and so we are meaningless. We are nothing. And the, the, the endless spouting off that I've heard, we're just a speck in the whole vast universe and nothingness. We mean nothing. Nobody made us. Nobody cares about us. Nobody gives a shit about us. We are meaningless, all right? And they've sold that to us over and over and over again. In fact, evolution, right? And uh, the, the science, because the science is always in on everything. It, it's, it's become a cult. Evolution is a cult. The science is a cult. It's the same we see with, with the whole of the, the COVID. It's a cult. You're either in it or you're not in it. You believe it or you don't believe it. It's a cult. It's a cult and it has its own language. All right? And it has its own um, um, processes like every religion. You know, some religions have to take the host and genuflect and everything. And if you're in the religion, if you're in the cult of the COVID, then you have to put that on and you have to keep a distance and then you have to not look at people in the eye. And so they've done this, they've sold us this lie that we are too many, that we hate the planet so much that we are destroying it, that we are so bad that we are on purpose willfully destroying the planet. There's a TED talk, very famous TED talk by... Um, Kill Bill Gates, in which he talks about how to get the carbon footprint down to zero. Okay? Seven billion people on the earth, and he wants us to get our carbon footprint down to zero. And what he, he, he gives three, um, three, uh, I can't remember the, the scientific word for it, but three things that actually control, right? Two of them you can't change. Two you can't change. And one was population. And, and Bill, in his inimitable, 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 I can't even say it, in his horrible fashion, inimitable, inimitable? I can't remember the name now. So Bill, in his, help me with that word, okay, in his horrific fashion of talking like, a, like the scarecrow of um, Wizard of Oz, he said, we've got to get this down to zero and one of these has to come down to zero, okay? Now, the intimation was that the only one that's going to come down to zero is population. And he said that, and the audience, and this is what really, really rankled me, okay? I was, I was so disappointed. The audience laughed and applauded. They laughed and applauded at his intimation that the only way to fix the environment is to get the population down to zero. Now, I wasn't upset at Bill. Bill's a dickhead. Bill is a eugenicist. He's, he's horrible. He's, he's not even, doesn't even deserve a place on this earth, nor in this universe, nor, nor, he doesn't have a soul. I was disappointed at the audience. I was disappointed at the audience applauding their own demise, applauding the fact that they shouldn't be here. And I know that we're thinking about other people probably thinking about, oh, the people in Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bill was talking about them. And this has been the agenda of guilt. And today, I, I, have, I have a friend who, when this whole bollock started with the, the, um, the uh, COVID, he was saying, well, you know, you know, We've got, to, we've got to come to face it. We've got to face it that mankind is not doing what it ought to do. You know, we've been messy, we've been sloppy, we've, and we've traveled too much. And I was thinking, you cheeky bastard, he, you've got a house in another country. 
Okay, you've got a house in another country, you travel all the time, and suddenly it's our fault because we travel. I think, you know, talk to Christopher Columbus. We've been traveling a long time. We've been traveling ever since mankind was had legs, right? We travel, we are travelers, especially the Sagittarians. So we are travelers. So what, what's all this bollocks about? Well, it's our fault because we travel too much. It, it's, it's so easy to blame mankind. It's the same with, with the, 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 the abuse of the resources on our earth, from our earth, right? And we say, yeah, mankind's abusing the resources. Are we hell abusing the resources? We are being manipulated by big tech, big monopoly companies that are digging the shit out of the ground, making shit and selling us the shit, and then making sure that it only lasts two years and it breaks down automatically, planned obsolescence, so that we have to buy more of the shit from the stuff that they're digging out of our earth to sell to us. And we think that that's our fault. We think that that's our fault. I'm not saying that we have a part to play in it. We do. We have a part to play in it. You know, I, if I can avoid buying something new, if I can avoid buying something, I will. I don't buy things be just because it's the new one on the market. I had, an, I had a phone, a Samsung phone, okay? And it was like generation three or something. And they were like generation 50 was out. I loved it because it did exactly what I wanted, which was to be able to call people. I could surf the internet and I could check my emails. Beautiful. And I said, I'm not changing this phone. Thank you very much. Then I got a message on the internet, which said, be careful because there's a new virus out that's attacking all of the old Samsung, Samsung phones. And I thought, well, I hope I don't get it. Would you believe that same week I got the screen of death, a little green thing that comes up and the phone went off and never went back on again. And so I had to buy the next generation up. Okay. Now I've got a sneaky feeling that the people that released that virus were the same people that wanted you to buy the next generation phone. And this is what it's all about. We are nothing more than, we've been used as plebs. Work, there's a, there's a beautiful documentary called um, Buy, Throw Away, Buy. And it shows how all products, just about all products, are, have planned obsolescence in them. Whether it's a chip inside that counts down and when it gets to zero, the whole thing goes tits up. Or they release a virus now because everything's sort of, you've got mm, chips in. They release a, release a virus that ruins it. The even, the advice on the internet is never get the last update on your phone. When it says this is the last update for your phone, don't do it because they inject all kinds of horrible stuff and it makes your phone go bad and then you have to get another one. That's, that is the advice, the standard advice. Don't update the last time because they're going to F your phone up or whatever it is. All right. So we are not the culprits. We're part of the, of the, the, the scam because we are the ones who allow them to do it. But we are not doing it. Right? People recycle where they can. People take care where they can. People help where they can. We are good people. We are very good. And we always help. Today, all of the neighbours have been out helping one another to dig the cars out so they can go and get some food. This is the natural, innate beauty of humankind. We are beautiful people. We don't want to hurt. We will not go into the sea and, and doof, um, doof whales on the head just to kill them. We don't want to do that. If we could avoid it, we wouldn't do it. right? But we have been sold. We've been sold lie after lie after lie that the planet's heating up, that we are we we shouldn't even fart because we're increasing the carbon, and cows have to go because they're farting. That that was a serious article in the UK that the the um, the gas emissions from cows were were causing global warming. Okay, that we should eat more meat. 
because we need meat. We should drink loads of milk because that gives us healthy bones. It doesn't. It gives us porous bones and it causes acidic bodies. And we've just been given lie after lie. And then when things don't work out on purpose, they blame us. And we, humankind, the sleepers, are very happy to accept that blame. Oh yeah, it was us. Yeah, we we need to be controlled. There's been a super spreader outbreak. Exactly. Well, they should be all put into prison. You know, we should. It, somebody was out in the metro without a mask, had a mask under his nose, and, and uh, he could have infected. Yes, those people should be shot. And, and I hear this over and over again from the sleeping sleepers, the poor bastards that are deeply, deeply ensconced in this cult of guilt and, and culpability and it's all of us. Trust me, it's not. And soon, and soon, we will find out about all of this. It's on the way out. The light is getting brighter. People are seeing it more and more. The people who are awake are very, very aware of this. But it's the people who are asleep that are unaware of it. And they're the ones who are dangerous because they're quite willing to kill and to maim on behalf of their lords who tell them that we are so bad. So don't feel guilty. Ever, ever feel guilty about being here. We are here because there was a plan for us to be here. We are here because we have a divine work to do. We are here because we are here to fulfill our purpose. We are here to witness what is happening. We are here to be able to help one another. We are here to unite. We are here to bring about good and true and, and right. And that's why this year is the year of peaceful rebellion, because no more. This is it. The line in the sand, this is the end of it. There, we cannot continue this way. And we don't choose to continue this way. And we do not consent to continue this way. They've had their time. Now it's our time. They've had their fun. Now it's our time for fun. And it's just a matter of us focusing on what we want, focusing on the goal of where we want to get to, and really ignoring not only the sleepers, because they, you know, as, as a very famous man once said, forgive them for they know not what they do. They are unaware. They are comatose. They don't know a thing. And so don't blame them. You know, don't even, don't waste energy and, and emotional energy on them. They are not worth it. They have put their soul on pause. They are soulless beings. The empty shells, the, the, the walking zombies. They don't need any of our energy. Our energy goes toward what we want, goes toward our commitment for the future, our commitment to one another, our commitment to God, to the higher power. That's where we're heading. And this year is going to be that year. It's going to be the start. There are so many rumblings going on. There are so many. It's just the, the ground is shaking with the rumblings that are going on. Okay? So just keep the faith. Keep focused on what you want. And remember, this is the year where we don't consent. And we don't, we don't take the bullshit anymore. Okay? So I'll see you on Friday. Have a lovely week.